Hitting it with my daily update. Uh, I did a session today for Cisco, which is one that's been um, put back a couple of times. So it was meant to be in June, then it was meant to be July, and then eventually we moved it to September. So it was after the summer break. Um, it was my habits building session. And this one was off the back of the London PSA Speaker Booker Day last November. Um, I was really keen to do it and um, I've been looking forward to it. Um, and it, it went it went okay. I'm just kind of really going back over the session and how I delivered it and how I think the whole thing just played out. Um, there's a lot of content in that session. The change I made, the major change that I made with this one uh, compared to previous deliveries was I, I put in more stories because the brief for this session was, it was a bit more relaxed. Um, obviously they wanted the content, but it, it, it was a more relaxed session because this particular group and and um, uh, and the, the purpose of, of doing this. So I brought in the stories and uh, the, the timing actually worked really well, but because of the way I'd sort of trimmed down some of the um, the, the detail of the content at times as I was delivering it, it, it felt a little rushed. And I'm still trying to work out what it was, whether it was just kind of genuinely, I missed the balance there between the, 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 the stories, the examples, and then the teachy bits. Um, or if actually it was something to do with the format that we were doing it in, it was on WebEx and it was Cisco. So of course we use WebEx and um, the way I'd set it up was that uh, I wanted to be changing and sharing my screen and sharing my slides and then coming out and then coming back in again. And uh, what I found was that I was getting a little caught up with not just the, the tech, but I wasn't very, it wasn't very easy to see the other people who were on the call. And it certainly wasn't very easy to see if people were um, nodding or using their reactions to put the thumbs up or wave. Um, and, and consequently, I found myself kind of getting thrown a couple of times where normally if it was on, say, Zoom, for example, because uh, I, I, I know the platform inside and out, it's very easy for me to, to kind of use the tools and whatever facilities there are there to check on engagement. I found it harder to do that today with the WebEx platform um, although I suspect that's more of my inexperience of using the platform rather than any limitations with the platform. So um, I'm still trying to figure out what the major blocker was there for me, what what um, kind of maybe come off that call, that session today thinking uh, wasn't quite as, um, it didn't feel like it flowed as well. There were a couple of times where I, I kind of got caught up and uh, I started to overthink things and thinking, have I lost my place? No, I haven't, I'm okay, and I was going, and what's the next story? Um, so it just felt like it didn't flow as nicely as, say, the sessions yesterday that I delivered. Um, I mean, I've delivered, I think it was okay. I think I guess that's the the overview um, and the highlight for the headline for me from, for this today. I'm just kind of de decompressing and going over it in this, in this, uh, in this session here. Um, it's like my therapy again. But there's always something to learn, but I'm at a point now when I'm delivering that um, I uh, I have to be above a certain standard, like for every session. So if there's my minimum standard, I want to be a, I want to be you know a good bandwidth above it each time, and really I want to be here, and that's where I often am. Sometimes I'm up here, but this is where I used to. This is where I usually am. Sometimes it drops there. I feel like that's where it dropped to, still above this minimum standard for good delivery, but it wasn't to where I wanted it to be, and. That's not me judging myself and being too harsh and self-critical. It's saying, well, where was the room for improvement? Where could I have done things better or different in terms of not just the delivery and the content and flow, but my setup as well and how I actually delivered the session um, using the, the, the available technology, using my various monitors and screens so I could see things and I could feel like I had a bit more control over the you know, the, the engagement with the participants in the session. So I haven't had any formal feedback back yet from the team, the group who are on the session. Uh, I will reach out and try to get some of that feedback because that will, of course, be helpful uh, to see actually how did it land? How did it come across? Um, did it feel rushed? Did it feel like, did it make sense, basically? Was it helpful? And I've got some initial good feedback, but Kind of typically you get that at the end of a session regardless of how it's gone I think so I will be finding out that just precisely how how that has gone um, and uh, meanwhile I'm trying to shift gears now to get my head in the game I've got another session tomorrow 
the better back boost. This is the other raise the bar session. Uh, looking forward to that one. Again, just 30 minutes, very practical. And uh, it's a good fun session, that one. Uh, and then, of course, I'm really working my uh, bum off at the moment to, to get the Portugal uh, presentation up to speed as well. I feel like I'm there with it. Actually, this morning I spent some time going over it scripted, so reading it out. It's not completely scripted, but just kind of going through it with lots and lots of notes just to time it out. And it's coming in at about 49 minutes. And I was expecting it to be about an hour. It's a 45-minute session I've got. And I want to trim it down to about 40 minutes, which will allow me that, that bit of slack time as well to come in on the nose at 45 minutes. Um, so I've been making notes there as to where I need to trim back and um, where I need to tighten up some of the stories that I'm telling there, um, which is completely understandable for the first run, proper full run-through like that because you end up kind of ad-libbing and adding bits on which can just be stripped out and don't really add anything to the presentation. So it's editing now is the main thing. But I feel like I've got a good flow and um, I'm pleased with how that's panning out. Um, so yeah, all good on that front now. I feel like I've got a week to go now to just really nail that. And uh, then I'll be flying out to Portugal. In fact, this time next week, I will be in Portugal. So I'm very, very excited about that. <laughs> anyway, there's my update for today. A bit long, a bit garbled, a bit um, therapy. But uh, as always, these videos, they present more than just a log and documentation of my progress towards the speaking goals, the ups and the downs. And, but actually, for me, they still give me that chance to, to really unpack and think through some of the things that have happened. And uh, I, I often come up with some flashes of inspiration when I'm recording these videos that I perhaps wouldn't do if I was just writing in my journal or other ways. So um, a, a nod to continuing doing these videos as long as they are helping. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.